Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the Alenia C 27J Spartan. So, this is a military transport aircraft, and its nation of origin is Italy. So, this is used by the Italian Air Force, uh, the Australian Air Force. Uh, the U.S. Air Force actually used to use it, but they retired theirs because uh, they went over budget, so they gave it to the Coast Guard. And this design is built by uh, Mick Alpaca, and I did make a few changes here and there. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like, and let's get started. So first off, we're going to make the leading wheel. So that's just the uh, black wall down. Then we're going to add stone on top and two of them in front of it. So we have three. Now we want to make this segment 17 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we could go back to the front and uh, let's skip a block, add a block to the side like that. Then we're going to go um, extend it towards the back all the way and then we're going to leave a uh, gap of space like that. Same thing on the other side. It's going to be a bit tricky since it's a big aircraft. Um, well, it is small compared to C-17, but it's a big build compared to like fighter jets, so I have to like zoom in all the time. So let's add stone brick slabs, two of them on the side. So the middle, just add a slab and another slab sticking out on top. Let's add an L shape like this. And let's add a 2 by 3 uh, box in the inside part to block stall. And let's add some more stone brick slabs. So there's kind of like an arrow shape like this. Uh, two in the bottom here. And for the cockpit, there is black stained glass block right here. On the sides of it is glass pane like this. Then the inside, there is diagonally another glass block. And the side of that is some more glass panes. So it's sort of like an L shape like this and it goes back a bit. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take some more stone and let's add it popping out like this. Two blocks tall. And it's going to be a 2x4 I believe. Yeah, 2x4 and then there's like holes on the side. So I add three more blocks to this. There's like a door in there, but we're not going to make it since it's part of the aircraft. Alright, so let's work a bit on the back. So the back part, uh, let's add stone brick slabs to the sides. Then we're going to add a stone brick stairs upside down, some more stone brick slabs, and one stone brick slab in the middle. So it looks like that. Work on this part that juts out. So how are we going to do this? Upside down, stone brick stairs right here. In front of that, stone block and let's go back to the nose so there is uh, two slabs right after the wheel on the side and stairs right after the wheel right nope stairs facing the sides and then stone in the middle and then we're gonna connect it to the other side Work on this back part, let's add um, a 3x3, three three, but leave the middle alone. And that's where the window is going to be. So place a black stained glass block inside of the hole. And uh, next to it is going to be an iron door, so just add one right next door. And then we're going to add stone around the door. And let's add a row of stone down here. On the bottom row and then on top there's going to be a couple windows. So they're used um, with uh, upside down stone brick stairs. So let's start to add one in the back like this. Facing the front upside down. Then there will be three stone blocks another window and they're all facing the front all right so one like that a uh, stone block and one like that again so we have uh, three these six windows 
Now we're going to add um, blast block on the inside of these windows. But if you're making an interior, this will kind of look weird. So I guess you don't have to add that if you don't want to. But if you're having it closed, I think it's better to have a glass block in there. Now let's work on the side a bit. So there is a stone brick slab right in front of the door like that on the side. And then stone block. And that is six or seven blocks long. Let's make it seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll just line up with uh, the stairs right there. Then we're going to add the wheel. So there's like a wheel right here. Skip a block, another wheel. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to add stone buttons to the sides of all our wheels, including the leading wheel in the front and I accidentally deleted that block so it should look like that let's add uh, stone brick slabs um, next to the wheels like this one uh, after it one in the middle and two in the front all right let's add some more stone blocks so stone like that so there's probably still in the middle one on top of the stairs or is it a slab so then we're going to add two stone blocks like that stairs a slab and next to that is um, stone block diagonally like that let's add it so it's like two blocks tall I mean two blocks long and then another stairs and what else is there a slab Go diagonally again, um, a stone block, and then two slabs. Let me go over there <clears throat> just to make sure we're doing this right. All right, we are. So let's add um, slabs to the sides of this. Also slabs right here. So it kind of curves upwards. And in front of that, let's add some more stone brick slabs like this. Make it reach the outer part. And so these right here, they're uh, stone blocks. Let's compare. Um, let's add some more stone brick slabs. So I guess three right here on each side. And let's work on the outer part now. So there is an L shape that's uh, sideways. So add that like that. And there is that uh, stone brick stairs and a slab on top of it. Same thing on the other side, make it L shape, three blocks long, and then fill in the stairs and slab. All right, so fill in the top part of this, uh, what is that, like a two by three? So three blocks tall, two blocks wide. Like so. And let's add um, slabs on top. Then we're going to add a stone block right here on the side with a slab on the side of that, I guess. And another slab on the sides. And then we're going to add a stone block on top of it, like two blocks tall like the rest. And uh, it's like a little T-shape. So let's add that T-shape in the back with stone. And then we're going to fill in this middle part with stone so it's all connected. So in the back we're going to add another brick um, stairs like this. On the sides there is a stone brick slab. It's going to line up with the top part. So it's an upper slab. And above that there's going to be eight stone blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's uh, make in... <laughs> make the tail or the fin so that's add so it's like three blocks uh, long on top and it goes down like that and the next segment is three and then it's one so three blocks right here and then one and after that is two blocks forward and then two slabs then two blocks diagonally forward And then it's uh, three slabs, 
one, two, three. And then it's the roof. So fill that in. And we're going to go back to the tail. And we're going to replace this block right here with a gray concrete block. So I'm going to actually have to grab it right now. We can also grab uh, banners and black carpet. So put a gray concrete right there. Then we're going to take stone, fill in the rest of the tail or the fin. Or you can call it the uh, vertical stabilizer. <laughs> so let's add uh, also two nether brick slabs on top. Then we're take black carpet, add it on the parts on top, like this, I believe. And then uh, black banners, just fill it in front of the tail. So it should look like this. All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's add another brick slab right here, one each side. And then stone brick. So there's like three by, how long is this? Is that a three by five of stone brick slabs? So that's four and then five. Add it on both sides. Two, three, four, five. And then there's going to be um, a two by three at the end of that towards the back. And that's the horizontal stabilizer in the back. All right, cool. So then we're going to take stone brick slab, um, add one right here just in front of that stone block at the start of the fin and then fill in the sides of the fuselage with uh, stone brick slabs. Then we need to go back in the front and work on that a bit. So there is um, iron trap door right there with a stone brick slab right behind it. And behind, on the sides I mean, we could add another brick slabs like this. In the middle there is a T-shape using stone blocks. And that tip right here, we're gonna have stone brick slab in there. So yeah, this is the roof area. Now we're gonna connect the roofs together from the back part. So it's just like three blocks. And yeah, just fill that in from the back to the front. And this tutorial is pretty hard. It's so big and then I have to like <laughs> look at it each time. Sorry if I have to do that a lot. Hopefully I'll cut a lot of it out in the video though. But basically just connect the roof together. Just one block. Uh, fill in this hole in the back. We don't need that. Cool. And let's also work um, right here. Let's add stone on the sides. Fill in this hole. And this hole. All right, cool. So it looks <laughs> like we've got the fuselage done, but now let's add the wings. So we need to also add in this little detail before I forget, because I do forget a lot of the time. So just skip two blocks of stone near the front, add a lever and a stone block, or a stone button, I mean. All right, now we can work on the wings. So let's go above this window in the back. Let's add uh, two slabs towards the front. Uh, then we're going to go right above this tiny little window, add two slabs towards the back. So we're left with this, and in the middle of that, we're going to fill that in uh, with stone block. All right. And the next layer, we're going to do the same thing. So next, we're going to take stone block and add three in the middle of each of our wings. And add an upper nether brick slab like this, three blocks long, both sides. And then a stone block in the middle of that. And then another brick slabs again. So it's going to be eight blocks or eight slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go back a bit and add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. So it is eight and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
go back at six one two three four five six and then we're gonna take um stone slab or stone brick slab add one and it goes back for another one like that let's make the side uh, two blocks thick like that all right so then we're gonna take a uh, light gray um, carpet add it above uh, the nether brick slabs like so so we don't have that showing up on top but yeah same thing on the other side with the stone brick slabs Kinda looks like a thumbs up button, so remember to thumbs up this video if you're actually following the tutorial and you want to support the channel. Alright, so we're gonna go to the back of this another brick, add uh, two more stone brick slabs, and then connect it together like this. Same thing on the other side. And let's fill in the middle part with a uh, stone block, so just this middle area, fill it in. Stone block all the way across. Same thing on the other side, just take stone block, just make it go all the way across the wing. Just fill, filling it in. So then we're going to go over here and delete seven blocks at so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and replace it with stone brick stairs like this and add stone brick slab right after it and connect it towards the wing. I mean the fuselage. So do the same thing on the other side, just delete seven blocks. All right. And add a stone brick slabs following it and connect it to the fuselage. So this is what the wing should look like now. Now let's add the propeller since it is a turboprop aircraft. So there is uh, one stone brick slab like that. We're gonna go diagonally forward and add a black wool block uh, both sides and a stone block right behind it so there is three of that and a stair so one two three stairs and I think a slab so yeah there is a slab same thing on the other side just three blocks of stone a stairs and a slab so for um, this thing right here the prop we need another uh, bricks fence uh, dark oak wood fence gate and wither skeleton skull which we'll put in the middle. So on the top and the bottom, we're gonna add uh, these fences. There it is, two blocks tall, same on the bottom. Do the other side. And then we need to add the fence gates. So I'm gonna temporarily place these blocks so I can place it in and delete them. Same thing over here. Just place the fence gates and yeah, we got our turbo props. Uh, now let's add a bit of detail inside of this. We need uh, skip one stone block here and add three slabs. Same thing on the other side. So it looks like that. All right, so if you have followed this tutorial properly, uh, you have finished the C27J. So thanks to Mikael Paka for designing this vehicle and if you guys enjoyed this video remember to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more tutorials like this in the future and I do know everyone's asking for the C17. Hopefully I'll do that one day but it is a pretty big plane. Uh, but anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.